When people normally think of stone tools and weapons, the material that most commonly springs to mind is flint. However, obsidian was also used for this purpose. In many respects, it's actually superior to flint. Even when the Spanish arrived in Mesoamerica, obsidian was still in widespread use. So how is this rock formed? What makes it ideal for use as a material for creating tools? Well, firstly, obsidian, which is sometimes called volcanic glass, was produced by volcanic action. However, volcanic or igneous rocks can be extremely varied. This variety in the structure of the rocks is normally dependent on three different factors. Chemical composition, the amount of gas that's present, and how they actually cooled. Obsidian has a very high silica content, like other igneous rocks, granite or pumice, which have a similar chemical composition. Unlike these rocks though, obsidian has a small amount of iron, fairly evenly distributed within the structure of the rock. It's this iron which means that unlike the grey granite, obsidian is usually black in colour. When volcanic rocks cool, the different chemicals within the rock solidify at different temperatures. So the rock is fairly liquid, the chemicals can clump together to form pockets or crystals within the rock. Obsidian here is a little different. The high silica content means that silica forms long chains or polymers with oxygen, so the cooling rock is extremely viscous and there's very little movement within the rock structure. In addition to this, the rock cools very rapidly even less time for migration within the rock. This even structure, lacking crystals typical of other volcanic rocks, is responsible for much about the look and properties of obsidian. However, when igneous rocks cool quickly, they don't allow time for any gases trapped within the molten rock to escape. This can result in the light pumice rock with its sponge-like structure. The difference with obsidian is that it contains very little of the free gas the oxygen that is present is mostly bound up with the silica. This helps make obsidian rock closer in density to the solid granite rather than the light pumice. The result is a rock which is both hard and brittle, can be easily worked or shaped into cutting or piercing tools, the initial edge actually even surpassing most metal blades, so the edge will become blunt over time. It's meant that many cultures around the world have used obsidian for their tools, an item lost its edge could be easily reshaped or even replaced. Obsidian tools were so valued, they were even transported considerable distances from where they were being produced. It could mean that even when a particular tool lost its extremely sharp cutting edge, the two tools were just to discard and instead be repurposed into a, a scraping tool rather than just purely a cutting one.